my good people and welcome to Soulful Eats with Lisa J. Today we are going to feature vegetarian lo mein for my vegetarian watchers. Uh, as always, I love you. I know I don't always do something that's catered to the vegans and the vegetarians, but today we're going to do a vegetarian dish that doesn't have any meat in it. And this is especially going out to my girl, Marilyn Glenn, who I work with in San Diego. So girl, this is dedicated to you. And also I want to give a shout out to Michelle Scholl, who watched my video on Mississippi Pot Roast and she left a comment about me washing my meat. Girl, you always gotta wash your meat. Uh, I don't care what it is. Chicken, chicken, fish, pork chop, whatever. I don't care what it is. You gotta wash it. You has been in the store. Yes, you do need to wash your meat. So whoever said you don't need to wash your meat, they lied to you. You need to be rinsed off. Okay, so moving forward, we're going to feature our vegetarian meal here. I have some ramen noodles that I picked up today at the store. We're going to have some mushrooms in it, some red, uh, red bell pepper, and some green onions, garlic, and a little bit of ginger for flavor and then this is going to be for our sauce okay and then we're going to put our little uh cabbage with our coleslaw in it right here okay so we're going to start the first thing you need to do is to get your pot hot to put your noodles in okay so these are just regular udon or ramen noodles that you can get at any grocery store you're going to put these drop them in a pot you're going to boil them in the pot about maybe 13 minutes until they kind of al dente. Al dente means that they're like not mushy, but they're not like crunchy either. You can kind of take the fork and look at it. If you need to pinch it and see, you can tell when it's done. Drain those off and then you're gonna put those in your pan after you make your sauce. You're gonna mix it all together. So we're gonna start by dropping these in the water first. Okay, so my water is getting hot. It looks like it's pretty hot right now. So we're gonna drop our noodles down in this water. I'm gonna use about two of these. And that'll be a plenty for one serving or for however many people. It's four people in my house. That's enough of these noodles for to feed all four of us. We're gonna let these boil for about 14, 13 minutes. Okay, once it comes to a boil and you get your noodles to the desired tenderness that you want for your noodles, some people like them mushy. I don't. I like mine to be, you know, a little al dente. So we're gonna let these cook, and then we're gonna start making our sauce for the vegetable lo mein. So stay tuned. We're gonna come right back and show you how to start making. The sauce. Okay, so we're So now I'm cutting up my red bell pepper. That's going to be part of the vegetables that's going to go into this vegetable lo mein. And I'm just slicing them. Okay, so we're back. So now we're going to make the sauce that's going to be for our uh, vegetable lo mein. So in this little bowl here, I have three tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm gonna put three tablespoons of oyster sauce. And you can find oyster sauce anywhere, any grocery store. It gives it, it, gives it good flavor, so you, you need to have this. So if, for the people that are like my daughter, that may be allergic to fish or whatever, if you don't wanna use this, you can probably use some other type of seasoning. I don't know if it's going to have the same effect or come out the same, but you can probably substitute some other type of sauce to put in here to give it that that flavor. But I'm using oyster sauce in here, so three tablespoons of this. a teaspoon of sesame oil and once again you can find sesame oil in any store I mean if you have an Asian market near your home you can go to the Asian store you can buy any brand this is the brand I have here at my house uh, I bought this right at the grocery store 
it's you know shelf stable it will start to turn dark though if you don't use it you know real quickly but you don't need to refrigerate this so you want one teaspoon of sesame oil You guys see me washing my hands. I do like to wash my hands. I can't do anything without my hands being clean or my cooking area to be clean. I'm just OCD like that. So if you see me washing my hands, that's a good practice that I have. It should be at your house too. Some people don't, but I'm like that. And then we have a teaspoon of regular white sugar. Okay. I'm going to add for a little kick, I'm going to put a little bit of red chili pepper flakes in here. You don't need a lot because red pepper flakes tend to emit their oil once you start cooking them. And then I'm going to put a little bit of ginger in here. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of ginger in here. Now, this ginger I had in my refrigerator, I had, it's a little bit wilted, but it's still, it is, it's going to serve the purpose because I thought I had another piece, but I didn't. But you just want a little bit of this ginger, not a lot. Okay, I'm gonna take that edge off of that, off of that ginger. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. I don't want a whole lot. Maybe just a tab, tab bit more. Want it because ginger is very, very pungent. I don't want it to take over my sauce I just want it to have a little bit of flavor and then we're gonna put a clove of garlic okay and for those who saw me with my garlic press before I'm gonna um, do my little garlic press so I'm gonna take the garlic break it open and then we're gonna press it into our mixture here And then you're gonna take this sauce and you're gonna set it to the side because we're gonna come back to this because this is not ready to go into that just yet. This is a real simple, quick meal. Okay, so I'm gonna take my garlic press. And for you guys that don't know about the garlic press, I'm gonna tell you about the garlic press. It's a really not nice little gadget. It'll press your garlic, that way you don't have to, you know, chop anything and it'll just take that skin right off of there and then we're going to take that skin out of there. So this is what our concoction should look like that's going to go into our vegetable lo mein, okay? Put a little bit of this. Put our ginger in there. And we're going to stir this up. And we're going to stir this up. Just like this. Okay. So that's how your that's how your sauce should be. This is what's gonna be your sauce for your vegetable on that. Okay. All right. So I put so I'm back and I put one tablespoon of sesame oil into my wok, which is here, getting it hot. And you can this is a vegetable on main, so you don't have to use the vegetables that I use, but you can use any veg any vegetable. But today I have green onion, some red bell pepper, which I'm also going to toss in there. Okay, like that. And I have some white mushrooms, just regular little white cap mushrooms. Toss those in there. You're going to toss those until they're kind of, you don't want them soft, you just want them to be nice and coated. And if you see that you don't have enough oil, you can always put a little bit more oil in to coat your vegetables. If you don't want them to burn, but you want them to have enough oil to make them cook. Okay, so 
I'm going to just add just a tad bit more. Just a little bit. Okay, and you're gonna use pure sesame oil. So I did add a little bit more because it looked like when I first dropped the vegetables in there that they started to absorb the oil. So I added a little, little bit more just to give it, you know, so it continue to cook. You're gonna let this cook maybe about five minutes or so, six minutes, and you'll see your vegetables start to get a little bit soft. You don't want them. This is a stir fry, so we don't want things to be wilted in here. We want them to be nice and crispy. And you might say, hmm, Lisa, you didn't really put any any uh, salt or pepper or anything in there. Well, because when you put your sauce in there, you have, those things have seasoning in it. Soy sauce is super salty, so if you add salt to this, you might over salt it and it's better for you to add salt because once you put salt in and it's too salty you can't take it out so that's how that's gonna go so if you want to add a little bit of salt that's you i would tread lightly with salt especially for my viewers that have high blood pressure that will send your blood pressure to the roof so we don't want to put too much salt in there so we're gonna let this cook let those vegetables get a little soft and then we're gonna go to the next process so stay tuned Okay, so I'm back. Our vegetables are coming along pretty good. See, they're starting to get a little soft. And I don't want them to get too soft, but I want them to be nice and firm. So to this, I'm going to put one tablespoon of regular cooking white wine. Now, it's, I didn't have any rice wine vinegar, but I'm going to use a little bit of this. Because it's going to give it a little zing, a little flair. And that you say, well, wine, it's going to taste like wine. No, it's going to cook off. So it's just going to give it the flavor, the essence. Okay, so I added one tablespoon of just regular white cooking wine. Um, I didn't have any uh, rice wine vinegar, but this will substitute because it's going to give it a little bit of kick. It's going to kick it up a notch and give it that flavor. So you're going to say it's going to taste like wine. No, it's not. It's going to cook off. So at this point, now we're going to put our noodles in here noodles are going to go in there which i've already cooked and drained okay we're just going to dump those in let's dump those in like this okay Take your thing and we're gonna actually turn the heat off at this point because you really don't really need a whole bunch of heat now because everything is cooked. I'm gonna turn this off. We're gonna pour our sauce that we made earlier right over in here. Okay. And if need be, you can always make a little bit more sauce if you feel like you want. A lot of sauce in yours. Okay. And at the very, very end, we're going to put a little bit of cabbage in here. Okay, so as I said before, this is a quick weeknight meal. So you're supposed to have some carrots and cabbage in there. So what I did was I just did a substitute real quick and I bought a bag of tri-colored coleslaw. Okay, same thing. It's just that it's already cut up. I'm going to put a cup of this in here. And he said, Lisa, it's not cooked. No, it's not cooked. So you're going to put that cup of cabbage and carrots in here. You're going to put a top on it because the heat from the cooking process that's already been done is gonna wilt that cabbage and the carrots because I don't want them too wilted. I don't want them to be cooked. I still want them to have a little bit of bite. So we're gonna put a cup of this in here, cover it up, let it sit with the steam, and then I'm gonna show you how this looks. I'm gonna plate it up for you and show what our vegetarian lo mein looks like. Okay, so one cup of cabbage with shredded carrots in it. Dump this in here, okay?
simple, fast, easy. That's why it's called 15 minute lo mein. No. Now I'm gonna put a top over this because I want that cabbage to get a little bit of that heat. And what I might do is turn on my heat on low just a little bit just so I can get it to wilt just a little bit. I want it to have that, well, I don't want it to look like coleslaw, okay? Okay, so after I took the top off of my wok and I tasted it, it tastes like it needed a little something, like a little pick-me-up. So I went ahead and put some onion powder and some garlic powder into my noodles, okay? Because I wanted it to have a little bit more seasoning. It wasn't seasoned the way I would like it. Okay, our vegetable lo mein meal is finished. And this is our finished product right here. It's all done with, and I've garnished it with a little bit of green onion on top. So this is our dinner for this evening. As always, like and subscribe on my YouTube page. And if you have any other suggestions that you would like to see me fix or cook or prepare, please leave a message in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good evening.